side with Tom Lynch and with the mayor on the on the, the running way and on the stations on East Washington Avenue. And we just know that this is going to be a tremendously positive addition to the city of Madison, and it could even be transformational. So I we, we're happy to play the small part that we've been able to, but I really want to in introduce uh, the mayor who's been the driving force behind this. So please join me in welcoming uh, Mayor Rhodes Conway. Thank you so much, Secretary. Um, it's really an honor to have you here, um, and it's been a great partnership. And thank you all so much for joining us uh, today. I am super excited. I think you all are excited as well. Um, and I really appreciate everyone coming out despite the snow um, and the weather. You know, it's been 30 years that Madison has been pursuing rapid transit. And we started with the Madison Metro Light Rail Study in 1992, for those of you who remember way back then. Uh, we moved on to various iterations of trolley, remember that? Streetcar, commuter rail, transport 2020. And now I am so excited to say that we are finally bringing rapid transit to Madison in a way that is transformative for our community members across the whole region. Think about it. 120,000 jobs, 80,000 residents, three hospitals, two colleges, all within 10 minute walk of the East-West BRT line. And we will grow those numbers even more when we implement the North-South BRT line. And that is why this has been such a key part of my agenda as mayor. Someone who relies on transit to get to work shouldn't have to make an hour and 15 minute commute trip one way. We all deserve mobility choices to get us where we need to go in a reasonable amount of time. And East-West BRT will do that for tens of thousands of people. The East-West BRT line brings Madison into a league with other cities and regions that we regularly compete with for both jobs and people. And we have to be on the cutting edge of transportation, of housing, and of employment initiatives to make sure that we stay competitive with the other regions and cities around the country that are all looking for the same economic advantages that we're looking for. And so this work is, in fact, economic development work as well as transportation work. I am so deeply grateful to the state of Wisconsin, to Secretary Thompson, to Governor Evers for their support and their vision of a modern and efficient rapid transit system that lifts regional economies and serves our residents. They understand that BRT is also key to meeting our climate goals. Transit emits half or less of the emissions as travel by personal vehicle, and electric buses like the one behind us are even cleaner. I'm also grateful to our partners, Mayor Esser of Sun Prairie, who's here, uh, Mayor Brar of Middleton, who's here, President Ben Fernando of Shorewood Hills, who's here, and County Executive Parisi, for helping to make this BRT line a reality. Our region has got to work together to make sure that people can get where they need to go. And I'm so pleased that these other municipalities have bought into the transit vision and in fact keep asking us for more transit and more opportunities for their communities as well as for Madison. I'm also deeply grateful to the partnership and the leadership of our Common Council. We have many alders here today. Thank you all for being here. Um, and thanks too to the folks on our city committees, the Transportation Policy and Planning Board, the Board of Public Works, and the Transportation Commission. They really have done a lot of labor on this project. Um, you know, they wrestled with tough decisions. They heard a lot of public input. They looked at many different maps and stations and engineering designs. And um, you know, a lot of city work happens at the committee level. And so I'm really grateful to the folks who serve on those committees. Um, 
it's not been an easy road, I think, but nothing worthwhile comes easily. And I'm really glad to be on this journey with the folks who serve at the City of Madison. I also want to thank the representatives here from Madison College, the Madison Metropolitan School District, and UW-Madison. Each of these institutions is a critical partner in our system, and we work hard with them to make sure that we're getting students, young and old, to class on time and to jobs, internships, and broader opportunities. I also have to thank the staff and the consultants, the folks at WSDOT that labored many long hours to get us to this point, nights and weekends, and now here we are. It's finally happening. And though they're not able to be here, a very special thank you to our Senator, Tammy Baldwin, to our Congressman, Mark Pocan, to DOT Secretary, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, and to President Biden, without whom none of this would be possible. The Federal Transit Administration, including Region 5 Administer Administrator Kelly Brookins and FTA Administrator Nuria Fernandez, have been critical partners in this project. And with their help and guidance, we are on track to receive the largest federal grant that the city has ever experienced. This federal investment will be transformative in the lives of Dane County residents, a game changer for the region and our economy. And now, it is my deep honor and pleasure to introduce the governor of the great state of Wisconsin, Tony Evers. Thank you, good work, thank you. Beautiful day in Wisconsin. It is great to be here and a pleasure to be here. What a fantastic milestone for the city of Madison and frankly for the state of Wisconsin too. The groundbreaking of the long awaited bus rapid transit system. Today's the day folks. So I'd like to start out by obviously recognizing and thanking Mayor Rhodes Conway and the city council, common council for their work on this and the city transit initiatives. And thanks to Secretary Thompson, everybody at the Wisconsin Department of Transportation and local leaders who work to improve our transportation infrastructure for the folks who rely on these systems every day. Thanks to your help, we're bringing our state's transportation network into the 21st century, building a stronger, more connected, and more sustainable network for everybody. You know, a strong public transit system is one of the most important assets a community can have. Often, I often like to talk about connecting the dots, which is just my way of saying we have to see how every issue affects all others, and transit is one of those whose dots connect with a whole bunch of other dots. A robust transit system ensures folks can get to work, students get to class, families can buy groceries, People can get to the doctor's, their doctor's appointment, you name it, helping support local jobs, businesses, and continued growth, economic growth for the region. And doing it in a more sustainable, green, uh, greener way. How about that? Wisconsin is ready to embrace a future where we don't have to choose between mitigating climate change and protecting our environment and good paying jobs and economic development. We are ready. Thank you, Mayor. We are ready for bold and urgent solutions that will stop treating these goals as mutually exclusive. We can and will do both. And this project is a good example of those two goals working hand in hand. So I'm here just to freeze, obviously, <laughs> but, but, but also to congratulate all of you on the hard work that has been done and bringing this project to life. Thank you so much. So I think we'll have the, the first group of shovelers, you know who you are, come on up and uh, we'll do a little rearranging and break some ground. Yeah, if that's okay. Okay, uh, we have three shovel groups. One is the uh, leaders, the second one is the influencers and movers, and the third one's the implementers. So in the first group, we have Mayor Sacha, Governor Evers, Secretary Thompson, 
Uh, Jim Crowley, Precinct Vice President. Mayor Esser, President Ben Fondardo, Mayor Brar, uh, Representative Francesca Hong, uh, all the Sabrina Madison, and uh, that's that. So if all of you could get over there, get your shovel, and then we'll get a, a great picture. Um, these are the leaders. They, they represent the people and the residents whom this, uh, this BRT is going to serve. Well, they did that really well. Okay, now we will have our our second group, the uh, Secretary Thompson, uh, Mayor, and uh, Governor Evers, uh, stay there. The second group are movers and influencers. They are the committee people that um, made this happen. So, um, Chris McCahill for the Transportation Commission, uh, Dr. Daniels from Madison College, uh, Elizabeth Ward, uh, Jason Fields. Uh, Jason uh, Ilstrup from DMI, Kevin Little, Madison Chamber, Greg May, if you're here, I haven't seen you, uh, Thousand Friends, uh, go ahead, get your, your hard hat, and we'll get you in there. This is good. So th these are the organizations that consistently came to committee meetings and advocated for us to have a, ra a rapid transit system, and they're also committee members that made some of the tough decisions. Okay, this is good. Good, good, good. Okay, so um, we're going to do the third shovel group. And if there are alders here, I think we might try and do a fourth shovel group, if, you, if the alders would say. The third shovel group are the implementers. They're the ones that are working nights and weekends. We got um, Justin Sternberg, Mike Chikvala, Mike Schneider, Bill Crowley,
is always on. Get the Channel 3000 app, activate the push alerts, and we will send you breaking news, traffic, and weather alerts as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now.